uh, you have projects of um, website projects on yes. information dissemination. Can you tell us more about uh, what the these websites. are and the core messages and what, you, what sure. you intend to accomplish? Sure. The first, the first website is the primary information website. It's going to be called uh, ibanangayon.ph. What it is really is a straight information website. You know, it's it's information, but with a 2.0 flavor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, essentially, what you have there is the information that everyone needs at a glance, really, to understand how the system works, how it's going to be rolled out, how it's going to affect uh, their voting experience. That's the main page. But there's also going to be a community page. It's going to be called bagumbotante.ph. Mm -hmm. uh, Bagumbotante is where we have the social networks, mm -hmm. where we foster discussion, where we mm -hmm. talk about issues peer to peer, essentially. Um, we think it's necessary to have these two. Because one, of obviously, the institutional website, the straight information website, delivers very, very crucial knowledge to the people. Whereas the community website allows, allows our users to really um, generate some sort of um, experiential um, appreciation of what it is. Nowadays, it's, you know, nowadays people don't respond to people telling them things. You know? don't, people don't respond to, say, to people saying, go to my nightclub, it's the bomb. Mm -hmm. You know, people respond to their friends saying, mm -hmm. hey, let's go to that new place, it's great. So it's more about buzz, it's more about uh, how your community experiences that particular event. And that's what the community website uh, tries to foster. Mm -hmm. The creation of a sense of community, the, the creation of a sense of this belongs to us. You know, and, and so if this belongs to us, then we have a stake in making this work. Mm -hmm.